Well, guys, I'm uh, getting ready to start a project. Uh, haven't been out much in the garage. Been uh, trying to take care of my health and stuff. And well, I, you know, I've uh, I've always wanted to uh, play with um, a lantern-style tool post for many reasons. I've used. A few different quick changes, a four-way turret style, and they're all kind of a compromise, pain in the ass in, in their own ways, can't get into places, um, you know, so I, you know, I don't have a, a, a lantern tool post for my handy lathe, so I found... Um, doing some searching and on eBay I found this little uh, foraged casting that I and foraged uh, ring or I guess they call it a rocker washer um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna machine it to fit my lathe so I can get I've got I don't have any holders I, I think uh, I may be able to borrow one to to see what size I want to, you know, machine this to, so it'll so it'll work with, with the style holder. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this up probably in the four jaw. Uh, I may even turn this between centers. I don't know. But this is a heavy duty foraged piece, and I think it'll it'll be quite rigid. I think that's the main thing that. People don't like about the quick chain or the um, the lantern rocker style tool pulse is they claim that there's no rigidity. But if you understand engineering, um, the old guys understood that very well. And when the tool and holder are in here, most of the force is really right down on where it's actually bolted to instead of cantilevered off like a quick change or a four way turret. So it'll be interesting to do some experiments to see if it is rigid enough, and uh, you know, I'll I'll uh, I'll try to get a video. I'll make a video and and uh, show how well it works and stuff like that. This is going to be a several part video. I may not get be able to do this like every day to get this done. But I wanted to get started with this and show you what, um, you know, what I want to do with the project. I've been working on the Hendy, getting all the little bitty things um, straightened away and functional. The lathe runs extremely smooth. So, all right, well, uh, let's uh, go down into Gay Raj and set up and um, we'll go from there. I'll, I'll uh, see you in a bit. 